The stage was set for tonight's third Democratic presidential debate. The 10 leading Democratic presidential candidates made their way to their podium at Texas Southern University in Houston. KETK State Capitol reporter Steffi Lee was there tonight. She shares what two Texas candidates had to say. This was another opportunity for Beto O'Rourke and Julian Castro to stand out, to make the case to voters that they have the plans that these voters want to see and to make the case that they have the experience. And we also saw that there were times that they were united on issues that were top of mind for Texans like gun control and the racial divide. O'Rourke and Castro spoke about that thoroughly. And we even saw Castro praise O'Rourke on how he handled the aftermath with the El Paso shooting. O'Rourke doubled down on gun buybacks and Castro pointed to his own plan to disarm arm hate that he released just days after the El Paso shooting. When we see that being used against children and in Odessa, I met the mother of a 15 year old girl who was shot by an AR-15 mm -hmm. and that mother watched her bleed to death over the course of an hour because so many other people were shot by that AR-15 in Odessa and Midland. There weren't enough ambulances to get to them in time. Hell yes, we're going to take your AR-15, your AK-47. <laughs> we're not going to allow it to be used against Anymore. White supremacy is a growing threat to this country, and we have to root it out. I'm proud that I put forward a plan to disarm hate. I'm also proud that I was the first to put forward a police reform plan because we're not going to have any more Laquan McDonald's or Eric Garner's or Michael Brown's or Pamela Turner's or Walter Scott's or Sandra Bland here from the Houston area. We need to root out racism, and I believe that we can do that because that doesn't represent the vast majority of Americans who do have a good heart. They also need a leader to match that. The 10 candidates here at the debate tonight all agree. Health care is complicated and expensive, and whoever becomes president must make it more affordable for families in the middle class. Both Castro and O'Rourke say that they have plans that aim to get more families covered on health care. That's important to note because just this week, we learned that Texas has had a growing number of uninsured Texans for two years in a row. In Houston, Steffi Lee, back to you.